Hello and welcome to another episode of Dungeon of Nahalbuk Amulet of Chaos. So as you remember, we did the quest for the mage. We picked up the cheese that we uh, needed to give him, which was an interesting quest of its own. But now we are about that to get... That is a long hallway. True. Now we're about to get into the hideout of these orcs. We apparently are holding one of the swords that the Mithrandir has lost to a card game. So there you go. Let's get right into it. Backward. Easy. It's uh... a... Mandolin! A crossbow is a musical instrument. Oh, come on, those guys are a pain in the ass. Oh, you're lame. Actually, <laughs> it's maracas. Uh, okay, got it. Okay. Uh... I don't like this. Can we open that door? It stinks! I'd rather go behind a tree! I'm terribly sorry about the miserable state this place is in, but we only scrub the floors on Wednesdays. <laughs> Orders from the co-op to save on black soap. Scrubbing is elf's work. Grain from the nice protective layer on stuff. Ew, total nonsense! Uh, don't the clients complain? Well, people mostly come here for the games, not for the cleanliness. We just try to keep the toilets usable. Usability depends on cultural background. For example, barbarians. We hide in bushes. Much better. Anyways, don't use the first floor toilets. They're overrun with rodents. Say what you will about the den's toilets, but here, your ass is safe from rats, at least. Huh. The first floor toilet has rat problems. Interesting. I wonder if we can explore that somehow. Yeah, d d this floor looks absolutely disgusting. Even though, hey, they have toilet paper, all right? <laughs> They've got toilet paper, at least. So at least you can uh, wipe your butt. All right, let's find out what's going on here. We're going to go for a battle. Are you here to bet? Your purses don't look very fat. Um, excuse me? Who looks fat? Um, we're here for Maid Ranther's IOU. Oh, finally. So, paying up or what? What? Hey, good other day! Out of curiosity, how much would it cost us to get it back? 6,000 gold coins. Hell, maybe we could find another arrangement. Yes, we also accept jewels and magic items, or even enchanted weapons. Maid Ranther already pawned a two-handed sword to settle his tab. You should comply, or I'll have my commoners give you a good beating. <laughs> I'll heal you afterwards, of course, as you click commands. If that's the way you want it, this is not going to end well. Wait, actually, we need your help. Oh, really? Yes, look, <laughs> this sword is way too sharp. Orc scrolls will help to blunt its edge nicely. Let's battle! A bit, I do, a bit, a bit. Why am I not in, yeah, okay. Okay, uh... Now, are you fighting us? Okay, so the the orc in the back is not interested in fighting us, so we've got that going for us. Now, the problem I'm, I'm seeing here is that while we can sort of corner them or hold this choke point, uh, we've got this problem here, so we can't really stay too close to this. Um, it looks like the majority of these orcs are also... Let me see. So we got a orc warrior, a grunt, a brawler, brawler. So these, these are two with shields. Three witch shields, in fact. And it looks like the warrior has two skulls. Then we have uh, three orc hunters. And a, wait, two orc hunters and a seasoned orc archer. So this is what I was worried about, right? So we don't really have a lot of cover here. So these archers are just be going fire continuously on us. And we don't really have much we can do. We've got two berserkers as well, uh, which are pretty high on HP. This is a level four one. 108, that's a lot. Berserkers are orcs of the incredible Irid variety. Their approach to problem solving is to scream at things while thrashing the place. And then we have the orc shaman, who's just a level three. Interestingly enough, doesn't seem to have anything too special. Uh, orcs don't really practice magic, but that won't stop them from screaming incantations when they're punching you in the mouth. <laughs> okay, so it does say they don't practice magic, so I'm kind of hoping that to be the case, and we actually don't have to deal with this magic. Of course, we don't know if what's going to happen, but, you know, uh, I'm hoping for the best and that he actually does, in fact, not have any magic. Um, 
So, I mean, we don't have much choice. It's either we stay in the front and we try and get some cover uh, next to the, these tables. Um, or, ooh, wait, we can blow that up. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, let's try, let's go in the front. Uh, we'll rush to try and get cover and we'll try to protect our party by having one front line here and one front line here in this side. Hopefully that will kind of stop them from trying to get uh, to our to our back line. So let's do this. Let's put our ranger here. Let's put our dwarf here. Our ogre will go here. Our barbarian will go exactly where she is right now. Our thief will also go this way. And we will send... Okay. All right, we can do this. We're gonna move our ranger up front. And we're gonna pop the defensive buff on our party. Uh, our barbarian is going to move also. Um, Actually, can we buff everybody first? And yeah, we already moved out of the way. Um. Ah. Sin, it's two tiles in front of him. So if we go here, we have two. Two, so we get him. But I, I want to move more. We might have to just move him now and then... Uh, we could even sprint and go around here. We need our thief to shoot a crossbow bolt in there. Let's do this. Okay. Now you are going to defend this front. So I want you there. By crumb, we're going to kick their butts. Apparently we can taunt from here. Huh. That is interesting, isn't it? Uh, let's taunt this guy. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Uh, the thief, we're going to move him here in the back. How much range is it for an attack? Six. So if we move him here, let's move him here. Can you attack this? Only that one. Yeah, I don't think that's going to have the desired effect. What if we throw a grenade in there? Yeah, do that. Let's grenade that. There we go. My turn. It's gonna go straight for. Oh, that's a flank. Oh. Okay. That that's fine. We'll take the immobilize. No big deal. Uh, our ogre is gonna face this way. Again, we're trying to keep a front line so <laughs> on this side, and we can't do Overwatch because we don't have a range attack. So we'll just do that. My turn. Looks like at least these berserkers don't move too much. Okay, never mind. That one actually was pretty fire. He's on fire, which is lovely. He's gonna move, and he's gonna fire. Oh, he has to go through. Oh my God, 39. That was a brutal shot. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna move in the back here for now. And I think we're gonna heal our ranger back up. That was insane how much damage they did to her. Oof. We're gonna move her over here. Yep. Please, I need some room to breathe. 87 damage. Uh, we could provide some defense to our ranger, assuming he's gonna get attacked. It looks like these are coming in this direction, though, so they're likely to hit uh, the either of these two. I'm not sure which one. So for the time being, we're gonna try and do as much damage as possible. And yeah, yeah. 
We need to start taking people down fast, and we don't do a lot of damage right now. Okay, um, we're gonna put you here. And I'm thinking we might actually benefit from using an attack here. Uh, so let's do, let's take the 97%, hopefully then, uh, yeah, let's do that. Come on, don't let us down. Okay, that's, that's pr that was pretty decent. It wasn't the best, but it was pretty decent. We'll take it. All right, he's gonna get a, a swing on. Oh, he didn't get a swing on it. Love to see it. Love to see it. We're gonna have to. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. What is that? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're gonna have to strike this. How much damage is he gonna do to him? Boom! Dodge that one. Whew, partial parry. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to swing this because this is gonna create this puddle, and they they might all fall. Which is absolutely lovely. Uh, we're just gonna have to go for standard swings here, eighty-seven percent. And I thought you were to be my champion. Here we go again. Here we go again. All right, you're gonna move out of cover, and you're gonna start swinging at this guy. Ninety-nine percent chance. Okay, now this is teamwork. Fifty damage. Though. That's that's really good. Uh, we could knock him back. Or we could uh, turn face in this direction and pop a tin can. There's a lot of them around there, so I have a feeling that stuff's gonna go down. I really want to hit that, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that because we can't hit it from here. Ooh, this would be a good grenade though. On the berserkers, right? Let's do that. All right, throw that bomb, please. <laughs> That lowers their precision, which I think is something we need right now. All right, he just he moved. Why did you move? Now I kind of like the idea of trying to move one of them, but I don't know how effective it's going to be. So I'm thinking of just doing this. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. Uh, we got one stun, so that's not the worst. We might be able to explode this, actually, with AoE. I don't like that our wizardess is just all by herself. She's in a really bad spot right now. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. In your dreams. Oh, wow. You got a parry out of that? Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Okay, so I'm thinking of using AoE here um, to t hopefully destroy this. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. So that should... I was hoping that would explode fully, but I guess we need to do another attack for it to happen. Which is not necessarily a problem. We could do that. Actually, no, we can't. We can't strike there. Uh... What could we do? We could heal. Or we could protect. He already used the tin can. So I'm thinking of protecting our ranger maybe. Somehow I find that to be a better play. Let's do that. Salute. She's still hoping that, you know, it'll turn out to be her champion after all. Okay, we could go for a 92% attack there. Or we could go for like the high damage. We could, uh, yeah, let's actually attack this. Oh, come on! What's up with these critical fails, guys? Come on. I've got parry. The moves. We've got 50 parry on them, so. Five damage. <laughs> That's a headbutt. Overwatch. Overwatch actually is not very exciting. Uh, we're gonna go for... We did pop this, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, I'm thinking we're just going first blood. We have our um, our Barbarian and our Thief here. So let's turn around and start smacking on this guy. First blood. Only 10 damage though. Oh, he has a lot of physical res. Oh, they have one more turn of still six strength. That's why they're hitting so hard. Now let's pass our turn. 
Uh, you're gonna go for an attack on him. 100% chance, which means he should die. Okay. I think this is actually our first orc that we bring down. And we can't move, because if we move, we'll trigger the overwatch. So we'll just stay where we are. It's no big deal. Um, I kind of want to try and stun one of them. Let's try doing that on the level 3 orc warrior. I hate orcs. They're even uglier than orcs. There we go. We got the knockdown. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, things are going okay. Not amazing, but they are going okay. We can't move here. We could do a caltrops on one of, on this guy. That way he can't move. And that. Oh yes, 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 yes. I love that. I love that. I love that a lot. We could also strike that. No, we can't. Yeah. You know, I like this. Let's do that. Oh, actually, do it on this one. That way he has to move all the way around. Oh, I like that even more. All right, don't fail me. Come on. There we go. He's stuck and poisoned. Love it. Okay. All right, we're doing this. We're doing this. Okay, that's five damage. That's whatever. Okay, uh, now you're going to try and knock him into that one. I know it's not ideal, but... There we go. That w oh, it, it actually killed that one entirely. And we're actually going to move forward. Oh, no, because that one can't move. We'll stay where we are. Yeah, we'll stay where we are. But <laughs> now this one can move, but whatever. It's fine. That one's still immobilized, so we can't move. Now his friend's going to move and go for our ogre. Very nice. Oh, that was two swings. Oof. Okay. It's fine. That, that one's going to stand now. He's going to peek around the corner for a shot. Nice. Our front line is doing so much work right now, guys. This is amazing. I'm loving this. Okay. Uh, we could destroy this. Or we could just start doing damage on these guys. Let me destroy this. There we go. I actually thought this was going to go one further. I'm not sure why. That was kind of dumb for me. Uh, we can, let's see, what could we do? We could do 87% on this guy. And then can have our elf finish the job. Let's do that. Another critical fail? That's the third one already. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? Is this is this really necessary, guys? I'm thinking we should heal. Uh, let's let's kiss. Let's kiss our, our ogre. There you go, buddy. You're doing a good job out there in the front. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. All right, we're going to take a lot of damage now. He's going to stand and shoot, which is fine. I hope. That's yep. okay. Nice. He's going to move closer so that we can actually strike him. He's going to go for another swing. Ooh, 12 damage on that attack of opportunity. Nice. Oh, we could knock that thing on the ground, and then he'll get down. Where are you going to shoot? Nobody. Oh, he's back in Overwatch again. So if we move, we'll trigger that. So I'm thinking of using range instead. Let's try to get him on the ground, shall we? Dangerous. We need a good strategy. There you go. So now there's a chance he'll fall. And we'll stay here, because otherwise we'll take the... Uh, Wait, if we do that, yeah. There's no way we can avoid this. Unless we use our own range attack. That doesn't really do a lot of damage, does it? We'll take the attack of opportunity. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, we'll take the 8 damage. I feel like we... We suffer less by actually going forward and going on the offensive than just staying behind. Um, let's see. So that guy's on the ground. We could just start hammering down on them. I could also taunt the Berserker. Or maybe we could taunt... Yeah, let's taunt him. Get him to move and then fall. I like that. And we haven't moved yet, so I think we can still move him, right? Yeah, because I don't like the way he's facing. There we go, that's better. Okay, Thief. Um, now it's your time to shine. Kinda. 
you can't do a whole lot to be fair because you can't do any backstabs or anything like that and you can't do any good strikes so I'm thinking maybe we we'll just the stay here the drunk orc. yeah let's start damaging this guy see if we can take him down 20 damage pretty solid we just bought that crossbow oh look they can get critical fails too uh, you just got hit by the slash tendon status effect. This is a rather nasty one, as you as for as you will lose some health points for every tile you traverse during movement. To resist slash tendons, you can also raise your physical resistance. When this status is in effect, you should move as little as possible. That's fine. We have literally no intent on moving. <laughs> we don't want to move in the slightest. But I think he actually hurt himself, not us. So whatever. We'll continue swinging on this one. Uh, I want to. I know it's only 60%, but if it hits, then the berserker is down. <laughs> Pressure parry. So he's actually going to still swing. And I think because he's a Berserker, they get buffed. Yeah, plus 10% damage with Berserk. No, we don't want to move. We want to pass. He's still stuck in there. <laughs> I love that noise. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. I feel like this is going pretty well, though. I feel like this is actually going pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with this so far. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so uh, we could just hack at him, or we could attack this one, because he's on the ground right now anyway, right? So let's take the 77% chance and try to take him down. There it is. Very nice. It was a nat 20. 45 damage. He barely had any HP. We'll take it. Um, we could heal. We potentially could heal, yes. A good orc is a dead orc. Agreed. Yeah, let's play safe here and let's heal up our ranger. I know this is an overkill, but I'm just playing safe. I think you guys will understand that. Now he's on the ground, so it's 100% chance of hitting. Uh, we could also just go for this. Lowers the chances of us getting hit, so let's do that. Okay, he's going to hit our dwarf. Oh, that was a critical hit on our dwarf. No! No! I hate... Oh my god. Okay. Who are you gonna hit? Oh, he's flanked too. Oh, shh. He knocked him out. Yeah, nice, nice kick there, buddy. That knockback, that knock, that stun, I mean, it's gonna probably do a little too much. need help. You moving? Please move. Nope. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Uh, let's just stay where we are and do a ranged attack. Start taking down this uh, shaman. There you go. He'll, one more hit, and I think we get him. You're gonna go for a swing. Barbarians, bunch of destructive halfwits. That's the fourth critical fail, by the way. I don't know what. It, like, I feel like the hard battles when battles start getting intense, we just start critical failing all over the place. It's just, it's impressive. This is actually impressive. The battle's going pretty well. Now I'm kind of getting a little. I'm feeling a little iffy about this now. Let's go ahead and play safe here and protect. Protect. And we'll start. Can you actually finish that guy off? No, you can't. Can't do that either. Then let's just let's just start hitting him while we can get these sure shots. While he's on the ground. Okay, nine damage. It's not too bad. Okay. I don't like that he moved there, actually. He's no longer poisoned, though, at 1 HP, which means we actually have to attack him now. Oh, that's good. that could be bad. Oh, 47 damage. And we can't get a heal. Kill him. Magic not good. Just kill him. Now, of course, we don't have the heal on her, which is big, big, big trouble. Uh, yep. Just go for the melee swing. There we go. Smack him with the staff. Show him what's up, cause I'm mad. Can we wipe him out completely? There it is. Get the hell down, little bastard. 
No, we're not moving. We're just standing. I think our barbarian is gonna go down here, guys. Oh, the combo! Our barbarian is down. This is bad. Yeah, this is bad. Can you move? Move! I want you to fall down. Damn it! I just take him out then. Just take him out already. I'm tired of this guy. There we go. Get the hell out of here. Now we're actually gonna have to move though. So we're gonna have to take this. Actually, can you knock him down? 90% chance. That should be pretty good, right? Alright, he's fit. Okay. All right. Why not? Right, turn around. You're down. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Fifty, seventy-five, fifty-nine. Yeah, let's start. Uh, let's start attacking. Honestly, the thief is doing some work with that crossbow. Also, we use two bombs that we'll have to refill after this combat. There we go. Our over. Oh, he's back up and in action. All right, perfect. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go for the the eighty percent. Make sure we take out this guy completely. I don't want to move him out of. Right, now that he's yeah. Now that we that we did that, we can move. I think. Let's do that. He's gonna go for... Yeah, this guy's a big problem. He does brutal shots Ow! every time he hits us, I think. Uh, which does uh, which is a lot of damage. Uh, we have to go heal. I know that we're getting really close here, here but... I oh, I still don't have enough range for that. I think they might be able to, though, so... Alright. <laughs> We're going full melee. Oh no, come on. 17 damage? Alright, get our barbarian up. Can't have him down. Can't have him down. No, we're not gonna move, otherwise we'll get attacked by that warrior that is at 1 HP, by the way. And just smack him with your sword, health. There we go. Nice pierce. Nice pierce attack. Good job. Good job. And let's get into cover now. Actually, should have faced the other way. Now she could get a shot on him. He's in Overwatch. Our Barbarian is in such a bad place right now because he's completely surrounded by these archers. But I think we got this. We're pretty much uh, at in the end game here. Let's go for that guy. There we go, 17 damage. And that interrupts the Overwatch, I think, which means we should be able to move just fine. So we can't move that far. He has a crossbow as well. So I know these are really low chances, but can't attack yeah. anyway, so might as well. <laughs> might as well try. And now we'll move in this direction. Okay, uh, you're gonna move forward and let's just go all the way in there. Let's get a strike on him. 85% chance and a dodge. Of course course because why not let's move over here and literally just crossbow him in the face all right there crossbow him in the face please there it is 24 damage Ooh. let's go ahead and send him flying get out of here sorry i'm just mad <laughs> i'm just mad now Oh my god, he does so much damage. Good heal. Good thing we can heal him to full. Love our healers, guys. Priestess, by the way. She's being absolutely instrumental to our uh, victory. Uh, yep. Go for that. Sure strike. Puts him at three. We always seem to do just enough damage. And you guys notice that. Just enough damage. Uh, try to take him out because otherwise he's going to go. There you go. Nice shot. He's down. Uh, I'm thinking of actually sprinting all the way through. Yeah, let's sprint all the way through to kind of force him to, to move. 
and not just keep shooting from cover because that's getting really annoying. Uh, you can't really move, so just take this guy out while you're back there. There it is. And you can face in that direction. Barbarian, uh, I'm going to ask you to do the exact same. I'm going to get you to move and sprint over there. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I wonder if from here, do we have enough range for the Caltrops? Yeah, we do. Look at that. Now he can't move. Now he can't move. We're going to sprint in this direction. We're literally going to corner this guy, all right? This guy's going to get savaged. He's going to get absolutely savaged. What are you going to do? You gonna... How do you boot him for 22 damage? How does that even work? 22 damage, guys, by the way. 45% chance? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, this always a this is a sure hit. Let's do it. 28 damage is really good. That is such a good ability. Uh, you're retreating. Oh, well, I wonder where you're gonna retreat. Because let me tell you, you're currently mobilized, buddy. I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't know. I don't think we're... You don't even know where you're gonna go. I don't think we can even get a strike from here. So we're just gonna heal. Yeah. Uh, let's heal... Let's heal the Barbarian. 91 healing, by the way. It's so much healing. Uh, I think we can go for a melee swing if we go here. Can't really do much from range. Yeah. Good job. Let's celebrate with a kiss. Hey Ranger, do you know how to play it cool? Can you like, can you be less obvious? She sends you long range cases, but that's about it for now. All right. Let's not get too frisky yet. All righty. Good job. We did it though. We did it. Whew. Okay. That was that was an intense fight. That was an intense fight. And we got a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, let's see. So we got a... The Barbarian went down once, unfortunately. But um, I think overall, it was still a pretty decent battle. We had uh, we had Orc Berserkers. We had the Caster. I think we were able to use the environment to our advantage, uh, which I think actually worked out really well. Oh, and by the way, those poisoned Caltrops, I'm happy we took that one because that was, that was pretty good. So let's see what we got. Uh, then storeroom key, a rusty iron key. So it's probably a key for one of these rooms in here. Uh, we got Mitrandir's IOU. Uh, Mitrandir, Archmage, consultant in complex entropic management, hereby acknowledges a debt of 5,000 gold coins to Grumazul the Cripple. Well, I guess not anymore, he doesn't. Which I'm assuming that's going to pay us the day of consultancy <laughs> that he can give us. We also have Nerlim's Zweihander that I hope our Barbarian can use. A uh, two-handed sword of astonishing craftsmanship. Its blade is tinted blue by Trithil, the work of a Dwarven blacksmith. Seriously, I, I hope I hope our Barbarian gets to use this one. Looks, looks really good. Uh, 123 gold coins, a bandana of mandibular trophies. A barbarian bandana adorned with teeth taken from fallen enemies before and or after their death will leave a strong impression on both enemies and dentists. Uh, one protection and two courage. We got an egg, two light beers, an okayish bow of... See, I was going to say kindness, but I just noticed that it's actually kinkiness. So... There you go. Uh, it might be an upgrade though. 20 to 30 damage is actually a lot of damage. Uh, very popular in the soirees dedicated to Snatchina. I don't know who she is, but. And a Nork Berserker belt, uh, a Nork belt. It has probably lived through more battles than you'll ever know in your whole life. So at least one. Uh, it has two slots. You lose intelligence, uh, you get courage and critical damage. Probably gonna give this to our Thief? I don't think our thief needs intelligence much. And courage, I think, is what's going to give him initiative, which is nice because he gets to go earlier. And the critical damage is always nice. All right. What's next? Perfect. The IOU was on the shaman's body. Good. This should please Midranther. He also had a sword. Good steel. This rocks. Indeed. 
The metal was drenched in gold oil. Oh, and the steel was tempered, colored in blue, using flittle. This is dwarf's handiwork. We get it. It's a sword. Shut up, you thicket feasting ignoramus. You're thick as a brick. Huh. In my culture, that's a compliment. True. This sword really stands out in this gambling den. Oh, look, there's a small tag on it. Madrant there. Deposit for 1,000 gold coins. Regardless, we found the death certificate. We can bring it back to the wizard in the VIP room. This sword is mine. Ah, maybe you should take the tag off. <laughs> We're supposed to be discreet. Right? Anyone listening? Hmm? Why does nobody listen to the thief? He's actually saying really wise things right now. Also, the that was Ranger a lot of experience. Ranger's level four. The priestess leveled up. The priestess is level four. The elf leveled up. Any, anybody else? Anybody else? No. Oh. Well, we got three people at level four. I'll take it. Uh, so let's go and take a look at that. All right. So let's start by doing the levels, and then we'll look at the uh, at the gear. Off I go. All right, level four. All right, we're making some progress. Uh, this one's on the house. The ranger gains plus one attack of opportunity per turn. Uh, he can now perform two. It's pretty good. Improves the ranger's standard melee attack. It stuns if the target has full health. And unfortunately, we learned that this does not stack with first blood since uh, standard melee attack means just the attack. It doesn't mean an ability like first blood, which I'm pretty sad pretty sad about because I, I actually thought it was like a really good combo but unfortunately it doesn't work that way um yeah I'm thinking this one's on the house and honestly it's because I don't find much use for either of these or for this one I this I I see the the idea of having these perks when the a allies are close to each other but I find that you have to really go for that and if you have too many of these it gets complicated so i rather not have to deal with this and just uh, be able to plan the party as it goes the f the way that they are without having to think too much about where they're going to be exactly if that makes sense so instead of going for those i'm going to grab this A one real leader needs real skills all right, uh, next up we got, what is this? A strategic analysis of the situation which improves movement for all nearby allies. By spending innumerable years running after chicken, <laughs> the ranger has developed an unrivaled capacity to read and anticipate movements. So if we, if we hadn't taken first blood and we had taken first aid instead, we now could get an upgrade to remove per burning and poison or removing knocked over and stunned. I do think to use this ability though, you probably need to be yeah, at melee range. So it's it's kinda iffy. We could also go for this one. Um, although, I don't know, I, I find the defensive one to be better. So let's compare, right? So this one gives precision, which is nice, but we can already get precision from the buff that our barbarian gives. And then this one increases the opportunity attacks by one, while this include increases the overshot, the overwatch shots, excuse me, by one. So it doesn't seem that good, honestly. So either we reset our points and we grab first aid with an upgrade, or we just go for this. this. Way more useful than stuffing chairs. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. Do you see the upgrade here? Fifteen precision. That's really good. See, so yeah, we'll do this for now. In terms of. Um, points we're going to increase his strength because i want him to be doing more damage his precision is honestly already pretty decent so let's go wild and go for two points into strength i know right wild next up we've got the elf uh each elf each each turn the elf automatically dodges the first attack of opportunity uh five precision bonus when shooting with a bow and has no penalties for short and long ranges. Absolutely taking that one. Better than nothing is still not much. <laughs> he says that every time. And I know exactly the one we're gonna get. Um, I started using this more and more, but I want to make sure this does not hit our targets or our allies. So Elven Ricochet, that hits except allies, is the one we want. So. Great. How about a hug? Okay, and we're gonna up her strength. I, I need her doing more damage. 
Let's up her courage. And let's up her strength. Courage is for that initiative, so she goes a little earlier. Next up, we got the Priestess. Now, the Priestess is going to grab... She's going to get Blessed Reserve for Max crowd. Astral Energy. She already has the Improved Heal. Um, we could grab the Inner Peace upgrade, which gives uh, two more Protection and two more Charisma. We could also take this buff instead, which increases Courage, Strength, and Intelligence of all allies in the Air of Effect. So we, when we're all bunched up, we could use this. And honestly, I'm all for it. Actually, no. Uh, we need this. A divine wind that cancels all status and alterations of the target. Yep. My power grows. Yep, 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 you yep, yep. Be my witness. Don't even have to think twice for that one. Uh, let's see. So this increases impact as well, right? Yeah, so we want to up that charisma. And intelligence will up her precision. So let's do that. One point intelligence, one point in charisma. Okay, now let's take a look at the bow. Put their hands in my pockets? Yeah, this is a flat upgrade. Just flat upgrade. She loses five precision, to be fair. She loses critical damage, critical chance, but she gets stamina per turn. And the flat damage, the min max is a bit higher. I think we can take that. Uh, we can take that. So we'll equip that bow for now. But we won't sell this one because I, I want to test this if, if efficacy. I think that's how you say it. What's in there? Ah, my bad. So he has two protection and two charisma, and this one is one protection and two cur courage. Let's take a look at the stats again. So charisma increases the amount of support you can benefit from when attacking. Okay, that's pretty nice. But instead of that, we would get courage. And courage, I believe, makes him go first. And it also increases his magical resistance and physical resistance. Uh, I'm a little torn, actually, because they're both um, they're both quite nice. And actually, I just noticed this one does give the one extra defense, so we'll stick with that. And finally, we've got the Orc Berserker Belt, who I thought I was going to give to our barbarian. And I think I'm still going to do that. I, I was thinking of giving it to our thief. But I think I'm going to give it to our barbarian instead. I mean, it's orc berserker belt. It makes sense, right? <laughs> Does it all make sense? Of course, the initiative... The initiative of our, um, of our barbarian is already pretty high. While the initiative the of our thief is not so high. It's only 12. This would allow him to go earlier. Yeah, let's do that. We'll give him the Orc Berserker Belt instead. Oh wait, he already has the Belt of Double Dipping. We'll give him the Belt. Uh... Yeah, our thief is a little... Thanks. Is this for it's me, 68, really? 75. We've been keeping. How ironic for a thief to empty his own pockets. We've been keeping him a, a little bit more on the defensive with the ranged attacks we just had for that last ability, and that actually went pretty well. So, we'll stick with that. Yes, this is going to rock. And we'll give the belt of double dipping. He gets the constitution and more health, which uh, will also continue to benefit from the health per turn that he gets. No, stay out of my pockets. Now let's give um, another explosive bomb. And I think we still have another tear gas bomb. Here you go. Those are two good bombs that he benefits from. And I what think that's done for party maintenance. Uh, let's see. Is there anything for us to loot around here? I can't talk to that guy. This is quite a quite a large room though. Let's explore this place. Ooh, where's this lead? It's the back of the of the den. Uh, 
Are they, do they really not mind that we're here? Oh, what is this? Uh, this shelf is missing some books. A small plaque above it reads a brief history of orcish culture. All right, so orcish culture is in the orc then, which I guess. Oh sh! Walking into a trap. Meet it's your lucky day. You're not really far. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yeah, I'm terrified of moving forward now. Okay, uh, we're gonna go back. I thought we had someone who could disarm traps. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, therefore I will not talk about it. We're gonna walk out of here. We'll, co we'll come talk to, to him later. I'm, I want to get out of here. We're gonna get out of here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. We need to go heal. We took two traps. I am terrified. We're gonna go up and heal and then we'll come back down. I'll feel a lot better back. I'll feel a lot better then. <laughs> so let's do that. Get me out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, guys. That was, um... Yeah, that was, that was close. I don't know. I just felt really uncomfortable staying there at that HP, so... I feel better knowing that we can go rest. So let's do that right now. Let's rest for another 100 gold. Let's now trade and sell the things we don't need, like... No, not that. Uh, this bandana we will sell. Uh, we will sell the tattered belt now that we have the leather one. And we will sell one of the eggs. Again, I have no idea why I'm keeping the other egg, but, you know, why not? And so far, we're still making money, um, despite the things that we've been buying. So I'm pretty, pretty okay with that. But I think that's actually going to wrap up the episode, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope you had fun. We have the sword, we have the IOU, and we have a key. So in the next episode, we're going to go and explore that uh, basement a little bit more before we deliver the sword to the wizard. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, take care and stay safe.